AgCl solid is in equilibrium with Ag plus plus Cl minus. Okay, if you remember, well, you don't have to remember, the KSP for this is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So clearly not very soluble at all. All right, well, watch what happens. So I have this solution. I have a whole bunch of silver chloride solid down at the bottom. So this is AgCl solid. And there's a few ions of silver and a few ions of chloride. There you go. Now, here's what we do to actually dissolve this stuff that's sitting at the bottom. We need to find a way to dissolve it, to run more chemistry on it. We add NH3. Well, in the last lesson, you saw what happens when you have silver solution reacting with NH3. Here is what happens. The free silver, the little bit of free silver that's actually floating around in solution, the few ions, well, they actually react with the ammonia that you drop into the solution according to the complex ion equilibria. And they form the monoamine complex ion. That K1, remember, was 2.1 times 10 to the 3. Now this one goes and reacts with another molecule of ammonia, and it forms the diamine complex ion. So when this happens, and let me just go ahead and write the K. So let's see what the heck is going on here. I have some solid sodium chloride. It is in equilibrium with some silver and some chloride based on the KSP. So this is what's happening. Mostly it's this, but a little bit of this. But the minute I drop ammonia into the solution, the ammonia starts binding to the silver, the free silver that's flowing around and it binds it up as this diamine complex ion. Well, when that happens, that's, that's what's happening. You're, you're basically tying up the silver concentration as something else. Well, when you do that, you've reduced the silver ion, the free silver ion concentration. Well, if you've reduced the free silver ion concentration, Le Chatelier's principle says this reaction will adjust itself to re-increase the silver ion concentration. The only way the silver ion concentration is going to increase again is if this dissociates to release more free silver ion. Yes, it's going to also release chloride, but chloride doesn't matter in this case. That's what happens. When it dissociates, that's dissolving. So every time it dissolves to produce more silver ion up to the value of the KSP, and then we add ammonia, that ammonia is going to react with the silver ion, pull it out of solution again, if that pulls it out of solution, it's going to create an empty space for silver ion. More of the AgCl will dissolve. More of it will dissolve. More of it will dissolve until all of it dissolves. Because what you've done is you've locked up the silver as, sil as diamine silver complex ion. It's kind of like the same thing that we did when we added acid to a, an insoluble hydroxide. The acid reacts with the hydroxide forming water pulling the reaction forward, causing the insoluble salt to dissolve. It's the same thing here. Silver chloride is insoluble in water. Therefore, to that water, I add ammonia. The ammonia binds with the silver, pulling this reaction forward, dissolving the silver ion. Now, I have silver ion in solution. Yeah, it's bound up, but it's still silver ion, you know. And now I can do other chemistry to it or separate it out from other solutions. That's the whole idea. Okay. So let's actually write these reactions in order. Um, oh, let me write down what's going on here. It's very, very important. So Ag plus reacts with NH3 to form a complex ion. And as we know, ions in solution soluble. Complex ion the Ag plus concentration is reduced. Oh, that's nice. It'd be good if I could spell. Is reduced. As compensation for that, AgCl responds. Oh, I'm having a hard time spelling tonight. Responds. 
by dissociating to release more silver ion. In other words, it dissolves until the KSP value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10 is reached again, because that's what the KSP is. The KSP is concentration of that times the concentration of that. Once that's reached, boom, no more of this will dissolve. But if I add ammonia to it, it reacts with the silver, depleting the silver ion concentration. Now the KSP doesn't match. There's a chloride ion, but there's virtually no silver ion. So the more of this dissolves to form silver ion, boom, until it reaches the KSP value. That's what's going on here. Okay. Now let's do the chemistry. So we have AgCl in equilibrium with Ag plus plus Cl minus. Excuse me. The KSP for that we said is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Very, very insoluble. We have Ag plus plus NH3 going to form the monoamine complex ion. Oh, in case you're wondering, <laughs> sorry, um, ammonia, when it acts as a ligand, is called amine. So that's, that's why I'm saying amine instead of ammonia. I should have mentioned that earlier. K1 equals 2.1 times 10 to the 3. And then the monoamine reacts with another molecule of ammonia to form the diamine complex ion. Whew. Symbols, 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 I tell you. Two, no, this is 8.2. 8.2 times ah, negative 3. It's positive 3. I'm telling you, there are so many places to make mistakes when you do this chemistry because there's so much symbolism. That's the thing. Concepts are not difficult. It's the symbolism that gets in the way, and that's what's often frustrating about science. Not too difficult, but just symbolism it makes you crazy. Okay. Well, we can form. So this is what's going on. There is an equilibrium among all of this stuff. Well, we have some things on the left-hand side and the right-hand side that are actually the same. So let's add these equations for a net reaction. What's happening in solution when you take silver chloride solid, drop in ammonia? All of these reactions are taking place. What's the net reaction? Well, let's do this in blue. That's on the left, um, or on the right, that's on the left. They cancel. That cancels with that, and we're left with the following. Uh, solid silver chloride will react with two moles of ammonia to form the diamine complex ion plus chloride ion. The K net, remember what we said, we multiply these. It's equal to KSP times K1 times K2, and it ends up being 2.8 times 10 to the negative 3. So now let's look at this. Let's take a look at it and think about it. We have this reaction taking place, solid silver chloride, drop in some ammonia, the ammonia reacts with silver, forms the monoamine, the monoamine reacts with another ammonia, forms the diamine, mostly this is going to be there. I can add these equations together for a total reaction, a net reaction. That means one mole of silver chloride solid will react with two moles of ammonia to form one mole of the diamine salt, uh, diamine, I'm sorry, the diamine complex ion and a free chloride ion. And the total equilibrium constant for this reaction, these over this, this doesn't count, is 2.8 times 10 to the negative 3. 2.8 times 10 to the negative 3 is small, but it's not super small. So it's large enough. So this definitely is a classical equilibrium situation. There's going to be a fair amount of this, this, and this floating around in solution, and perhaps even some of this, depending on how much was actually there.